What's going on, guys? This is not your ordinary guy. No, this is your motivation guy. That's why your friend Keith Allen, a bunch of crunch charming. Where you at? You know, W King in Fortnite is a critical part of high play level gameplay, as you already know. And being able to abuse different game mechanics to win more fights, it's gonna work wonders. You know, when it comes to your performance in game, and no other player does it better than the Big Clix's mortal enemy, Unknown X Army. And that's why in today's video, we're gonna be diving into Unknown's gameplay and showing you how to dominate fights just like he does. All right, guys, bunch of crunch army. Yo, it's about that time. I'm so hyped up. It's time to sit back. Come on, relax and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. You better eat this. Come on now. And let's get this going. So one big thing that we quickly noticed from Unknown is his amazing usage of the pepper consumable. Okay, so as you may already know, peppers are a four-aged item which basically makes you run super fast. Let's take a look at a clip which shows just why peppers are so great for W King. So in this first clip here, and I mean like right here, we see Unknown chasing a player down who he tagged. Usually in this situation, the player is already too far and Unknown can't really engage, but since he has a pepper activated, he's able to catch up to his opponent. In this specific situation, the player ends up escaping as Unknown engages into a new fight. But it's clear how useful peppers can be against those pesky opponents who just keep trying to run away. As I was saying, <laughs> another player rose up, but Unknown is able to show us exactly why peppers are so good once again. His peppers allow him to grab height with ease and just clean up the kill super fast. So what I want you guys to do is this, is to simply try to carry peppers when you have the inventory space. These speed boosters are so convenient to use, you know, taking only one second, and they can give you massive advantages, especially in the two situations we just saw with unknown chasing an opponent down and then winning a build fight with the peppers now by this point we all know the peanut butter peak right it's simply a top right triangle edit and this edit is absolutely amazing for basically any use and i'm sure a lot of us know it all too well probably from dying to it so in this next clip unknown shows a shockingly easy counter to this technique all right you guys gotta check this out okay so as we just see in this clip what unknown does since you know he knows his opponent is gonna peanut butter edit is you know he sets up on the far left side of the wall so he has an angle to shoot his opponent back he misses his first shot but then what he does is simply simply build a ramp right over his opponent. This ramp covers him while his shotgun delay resets. Then he's able just to clean up the kill easily with a nice right hand edit. So what we can take away from here is that, you know, there are two easy counters to the peanut butter technique. You can either just set up on the far left side of your opponent's wall for a shot or ramp right over them as they edit and get in to clean up the kill. All right, so the next clip shows something that I wanna quickly cover, which is a simple peace control play that you can use on anybody building for height. All right, so to do this technique, which Unknown shows beautifully in this clip, simply cone your opponent like normal and then build a wall between you. The cone plays the obvious role of blocking your opponent from building up anymore. Then the wall stops your opponent from blocking you off and really exposes them more. Unknown uses this technique here to get a clean 187 damage pump shot off and then cleans up the kill with some simple SMG spray. Also, you can adjust this technique a little bit if you're feeling a little bit spicy by building walls behind your opponent so they just can't escape and are basically at your mercy. The method unknown used is great, but occasionally you can add the extra walls, you know, to make it basically a guaranteed kill. Also, I know a lot of you guys are struggling mechanically. I get it, man, I've been there, trust me. And you know, may not be able to really pull this technique off. So if that's you and you feel like, you know, you're struggling with this, make sure to check out our course is over on proguys.com, which can help you catch up mechanically and get a VOD review from one of our pro coaches who can really help you find specific ways that you can improve your mechanics. And you're gonna get there in no time, guys. Okay, so for our fourth tip, we've got some methods to use boogie bombs that can help you dominate even highly skilled players. As you may already know, boogie bombs have been re-added in the new season, and pros are finding super amazing ways to use them. Okay, so in this clip, Unknown is cranking up to an opponent and realizes there's a wall near him. 
Now, boogie bombs work in a way where they make people in a vicinity dance, and they don't even have to hit the player. So a gnome uses this knowledge and throws a boogie bomb behind the player, which makes him dance, and he cleans up this kill easily. There are other ways that you can utilize boogie bombs, so we're gonna show you a few more tricks as well, which might really help you out. All right, so the best way to get a boogie bomb off simply consists of being at a distance from your opponent and baiting them into editing on you. From here, and I mean like right here, you can take your chances and chuck a boogie bomb and it may hit them, giving you an easy kill. A few common ways to bait out and edit include shooting, you know, at another player or another area to shift your opponent's focus, picking hard to make them go for AR shots, or if you're feeling really good about it, you can try doing it in a box fight. But this is just much riskier, so I really wouldn't recommend it. You can also get boogie bombs off in a few other situations, like, you know, if you're on high ground in a build fight, or whenever you spot a build near a player which you can just hit with the boogie bomb either way overall boogie bombs are so versatile this season man so be sure to start using them when you get the chance The last technique that we're going to be showing is known as the cone 50-50. All right, so this technique is pretty much the easiest way to force your opponent into a 50-50 and catch them off guard. And hopefully it's going to end up with the kill. In this clip, a known gets into his opponent's box by replacing the wall with his shotgun. And he gets a cone in his opponent's box, which completely blocks him from building cover. And he gets an easy kill. This technique is so easy to do. It really just really consists of getting into your opponent's box and just getting a cone in. They end up unable to build and basically completely at your mercy. In all honesty, Unknown was a bit of a cycle to get in without tagging his opponent, but he's unknown, so I guess whatever. <laughs> Also, the element of surprise was also in his favor. Like, it really wasn't the worst move that he could have made for sure. Another variation you can try with this technique is doing it with the ramp phase by doing the classic ramp phase to get in and forcing the 50 50 fight with the cone. All right, so we recommend doing these types of 50 50 techniques in two situations either when your opponent has no idea you're doing it or if you have a massive health advantage in the fight. Be sure to give this technique a shot, guys. Yo, it works. All right, so with that said, those are five tips that we learned from watching Unknown's gameplay. Let's quickly do a recap, all right? First off, using peppers for utility, oh my goodness. It's absolutely amazing for so many situations like chasing down players and gaining control in build fights, like what we just saw from Unknown. Getting good with peppers, yo, that's gonna help you tremendously, so be sure to start using them, all right? Second, try using one of the two peanut butter counters we just covered. You can just counter it by ramping over your opponent and getting in, or simply just set up on the left side and just pre-fire them. Either way, it can work. Number three, we went over the classic cone wall piece control so many pros use. This play absolutely is amazing for build fights and it can give you a huge advantage, you know, if you pull it off properly. In fact, it'll probably result in a free kill the majority of the time. Fourth up, we saw Unknown make a beautiful play using the newly added boogie bombs. These are so versatile, bro. Like with some practice, you can get some easy kills with them. So be sure to give these a shot, all right? Finally, my friends, the last technique that we went over was the cone 50-50 we see many pros do. This simply consists of getting into your opponent's box, getting a cone in, which can really catch them up guard and really just you know force you into a 50 50 type situation this technique works amazing if you have a health advantage in the fight or if your opponent isn't really expecting it if you can pull this off correctly and hit your shots this technique is insane all right guys once again this is your motivation guy thanks so much for watching this video be sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content just like this and uh in the near future man you know uh you know spread the word you know show us some love visit proguys.com for the best content and coaches that can take your gameplay to the next level and finally you know make sure to check out pro guys community discord which will be linked in the description um down below man come and hang out with the community man we got some great people enter the giveaways the tournaments and just find some awesome people to play with and uh keep eating that bunch of crunch and let's get this going